Julia Gillard has survived a failed leadership coup, but some of Kevin Rudd's backers are paying the price for yesterday's spill. There have been a series of resignations after Rudd shocked even his own supporters, standing by a promise not to challenge. Julia Gillard returns victorious from a fight which really never happened. After weeks of destabilisation to force a vote, Kevin Rudd's backers were left high and dry without a candidate. When I say to um, my parliamentary colleagues and to the people at large across Australia uh, that I would not challenge uh, for the Labor leadership, I believe in honouring my word. A day of high drama ending in high farce. Mr Rudd said he'd only consider taking back the Prime Ministership if Julia Gillard stood down and an overwhelming majority of the party drafted him back. I'm here to inform you that those circumstances do not exist. Simon Crean stuck his neck out and lost his head, lashing out at Mr Rudd. He's only got one obligation now, and that's to back off. With tensions boiling on the final day of Parliament before the seven-week autumn break, Mr Crean had earlier become the one to finally pull the trigger. I am asking her to call a spill of all leadership positions in the party. Ms Gillard sat stony-faced in the parliament as Mr Crean, formerly one of her staunchest supporters and harsh critic of Kevin Rudd, said he'd reached his decision after searching his soul. This is not personal. This is about the party, its future and the future of the country. Mr Rudd's numbers men, including Victorian MP Alan Griffin, hit the phones as Simon Crean cut a lonely figure walking into the parliament. Sacked as Arts and Regions Minister, his future now on the back bench. Ms Gillard, flanked by Deputy Wayne Swan and ministers including Greg Combe and Craig Emerson, marched defiantly into question time, firing up. I have determined that there will be a ballot for the leadership and deputy leadership of the Labor Party at 4.30 today. In the meantime, take your best shot. The opposition obliged. For our country's good, you should go. You should go.